if you're watching this video, you probably know that the combat medic is probably the most useful build you can possibly use for mission or dark zone run. Common misconception of a combat medic is that he or she stays in the back and only comes out of hiding when heals are needed. Let me be the first to tell you that that idea is completely wrong, which I'll explain later in this video. First, let us focus on four areas, skills, talents, armor, and weapons. Let's focus on the first, skills, what you're going to need. Combat medic should run with first aid, booster shot. Now, it's very important before we start that you completely upgrade your medical wing so that you can get the signature move and also you can get the most, the master of every skill. Now, why do I say booster shot? There's three options with the first aid mod. Defibrillator, Overdose, and Booster Shot. Let's start with the first one, Defibrillator. The device can revive downed allies and grant them a portion of their normal health. Although this is very useful, as a combat medic, you're probably not going to want your enemies, your allies, to be down. So, that ability shouldn't come into play too often. Overdose. The device heals targets more effect effectively and even extends target's health beyond its normal rating. Although this one is a good choice, it the problem with it is that most times teammates don't necessarily need a lot more of a health boost. They need protection. So that's why booster shot is the perfect choice for a combat medic, in my opinion. Temporarily increases damage for the affected target in addition to the normal healing effect. They get that increased damage so that they can get out of that pickle that they're in, whatever it may be. You're able to get the damage resist boost as well. So when you're using booster shot, your allies will not only get health, a damage boost, but also damage resistance, which is perfect for a person who is in trouble. And let's go to the second skill, support station mod. There's three types, life support, Immunizer, I have a hard time saying that word, and Ammo Cache. Now I chose Ammo Cache, and I'll explain why. Let's go down with Life Support. Drops a revival station that automatically revives any allies who are down within the affected area. Again, this is very helpful, but uh, your whole point of being a medic is to make sure your opponent, your allies, don't reach that point where they're downed. So, if they're getting downed a lot, there's a problem. So that that mod isn't very useful because you you know I mean you're trying not to get your allies down. Simple as that. Immunizer. I'm butchering that word by the way, but anyways, drops a recovery station that removes status effects and makes allies immune while within the affected area. Personally, I've never found that useful. Um, there's never been a situation where we are uh, my team is. Um, affected by something so I mean it's just I mean I'm pretty sure it's helpful in some occasions but never never seen it so that's why I go with ammo cache while close to the device allies regain their ammo as they reload and this is the most important part this is why I have it and skill cooldown recovery is faster and that's the key right here Skill cooldown recovery is faster. That is the most useful because not only is it useful to you as a combat medic because you get your heals faster, but also your teammates get their skills faster. They're, they they get health and skill recovery. Never withhold any of these skills because you want to wait for the last second. That is the most annoying thing to do as a medic because now your teammates are worried that, man, I have such low health. Should I use a med pack or should I wait for my medic? What should I do? you're constantly healing them even when they maybe they're half health or quarter health missing if you heal them they know like okay this medic has got my back and I know most po people worry about their skill cooldown like when is the next time I'm gonna be able to use this what if I miss that opportunity to use my skill what if like my teammate is low on health and I'm still waiting it to regenerate I will explain further in the video why that shouldn't be a problem because of your talents and armor but we'll go We'll, we'll explain that a little bit later. The first talent that should be equipped is, obviously, Combat Medic. 
Use a medkit near allies to heal group members and proxi proxies within 20 meters by 40%. Sometimes, when you're on the move, you see a teammate a little bit low on health, but you're waiting for your skill to recover. Sometimes you should take a bullet or two, get close to your ally, and pop a medkit. It's not necessarily for you, but it helps out your teammate more. The next talent that should be equipped is Adrenaline. Use a medkit when not at full health to receive an overheal, and this kind of goes with combat medic. Sometimes you take that bullet or two and you use a medkit. Now instead of wasting one and just healing yourself a little bit for your teammate, you can receive that overheal. So now not only is your teammate fully healed because of your medkit, but now you receive that overheal. So these two kind of go together. The next talent that should be equipped is, I don't know how to say this one, triage or triage, whatever. The description says heal an ally with a skill to reduce skill cooldowns by 15%. Now this is very, very important because as I said in the beginning of the video, sometimes as a medic, you're worried that you might heal your teammates a little bit too early and you might use up your skill when you really do need it. So you're now worrying about when or when not to use it and you're stressing yourself out that you're withholding it and now your teammates are angry at you. This will help reduce that cooldown drastically. The next talent should be on the move. Kill a hostile while moving to reduce income and damage by 30% for 10 seconds. Now this is very important because as a combat medic you will be running around. You will be shooting, you'll be running. It's not very often that you take cover. Now I'm not saying don't take cover because you obviously will. But sometimes your teammates will move up, sometimes your teammates will move back, sometimes your teammate will move in opposite directions, and you have to be right beside them. You are their babysitter, and sometimes I get out of cover, I kill an enemy, and I start running towards them. Now all incoming damage is reduced drastically, and I can survive it, and I can continue to help my ally. This is a very important talent to have. Now there are other talents that maybe is more of your preference, depending on how you play. But this is my ideal, this is my ideal one. Now there's some people who will say critical save is probably the most important talent to have. Use a medkit during low health to increase damage resistance by 40% for 10 seconds. But if your skill, skill cooldown is so quick, if you're able, which you will be, which you're able to keep using that med, that medkit heal, you'll always be healed. You'll never be at low health, so that will never happen. It's it's not common, so it's almost a waste of a talent, but it would come in handy in some occasions. There's also Battle Buddy. Revive a downed agent to reduce incoming damage by 50% for 10 seconds for both players. Also very handy if your teammates are getting downed a lot, which is not what you want as a combat medic, so you won't need it. Now let's move on to armor. Armor is very, very important. Um... To any player, to be honest. What a medic should really focus on is electronics. Give, it gives your he your healing a little bit more juice into it. But it goes a little bit more into that, that's very surface. What you really have to focus on is the skill attributes your armor has. For example, this urban assault vest that I have has a plus 7% support station health. So if enemies start shooting at it, it lasts a little bit longer than usual. Sometimes you can equip a better mod that maybe has to do a little bit with your class. Maybe you don't want scavenging. Maybe you don't want to find that better loot because you have the best armor and best weapons. You can replace it with something else. There's no wrong in that. For example, there's a mod here that says plus 5.5% plus support station healing speed, which is very helpful. It heals faster. Now, I know what you're thinking that is only 5%, basically, it won't really help. But like I said, if you have this in every single armor piece, it adds up and you become a different player. Your skill becomes a lot more effective. Now let's move on to my strike mask. It has a talent. It's a, it's a high end uh, piece of armor, which I like. Sometimes purple is better, but sometimes yellow is better. It depends. It really does. It depends on how you play and what it does. This high end piece has a talent called refreshed. All healing is improved by 30% when in the last segment of health. Again, you usually aren't that low on health, but if you are, 
this comes in hand. This is a sort of like a last resort that I find very helpful. Now the major attributes, 10% health on kill, which is very helpful because like I said, you're always on the move. So not only do you have that 30% uh, damage resistance now you get 10% health on kill so now you're almost a walking tank when you're trying to move from cover to cover you also have that skill attribute that says 8.5 first aid ally heal which comes in handy when you're using a med kit now there are these high-end spec op pads perceptive the talent is perceptive now it doesn't really help us in a medical run but again look at the skill attributes plus 8 support station healing speed that adds up and then the mod is scavenging and stamina boost now that has nothing to do with the medic but like I said you can find a mod that increases something in that your skills or your medical field something that can help out right now this build I have this armor piece I have is for scavenging because like I said we go into dark zone a lot we're looking for items so it was boosted up but you can replace it with a medical whatever you want as you can see you get kind of get the point I could keep going, but uh, you'll probably see the same thing. It's it's skill attributes that help out my skills, or some way helps out what I how I play, how a medic plays. Whether it be healing, whether it be my skill, whether it be taking less damage, etc. Mentality that you have to go into as a combat medic is basically you are the babysitter of the group. And that doesn't mean you don't enter combat or you don't take the front line. No, it just means that you have to be aware of everyone's health. You have to be aware of what situation they are in, what's happening in the battlefield. For example, if you're if, if someone's lagging behind, keep an eye on them. Because guess what? There's going to be enemies shooting at them. Maybe you're retreating and they're shooting at him and he's losing health because he's the last person in the back. So keep an eye on him. Drop a heal. Just like I did in this video. Don't be afraid of dropping the health station. Sometimes some people don't drop it because they don't know the prime location or they know that they're going to move up eventually. Don't be afraid to. Uh, drop it down so that your teammates know where to go to get a little bit of heal, to get a little bit of that uh, skill cooldown. Also, if possible, keep your teammates close together. Don't be afraid to issue a command, link up on me or stick close together because it's easier to heal everyone when they are close together. There are four ways in this build to heal. Medkit, signature skill, first aid, and your support station. Don't be afraid to use your first aid. Sometimes people wait for the last minute, but like I said, this is the third time saying it, your teammates will help hate you for it. They don't want it to go to the last minute. There's too much risk behind that. So just pop it down, even if they're half health or maybe you know, a quarter health missing, use it use it it's gonna cool down in like five seconds because because of your talents because of your the armor you have it will cool down quick and if you have the support station even better because you have the ammo cache one which helps your which helps your skill cool down drop down lower it all combines together so don't be afraid this build is perfect for that scenario like I said, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. Maybe it was a little too long, but hopefully you watched through it and hopefully it helps you with your build. You don't have to go precisely with how I did it, but it gives you an overall idea of how you, how you want to play as a medic. Uh, maybe you picked a different talent, which is fine. Maybe you picked a different skill. Maybe you have the pulse. It doesn't matter. As long as you are the support of your team, you are an amazing combat medic and you will be the, f you will be the first person they choose to be on your squad. Enjoy. Thank you, everybody. Hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time.